Hello everyone! Are you confused on the title? Cassie, didn't you already do this video? I mean, granted, I guess I don't know exactly what I'm going to be titling this video, but it's different than my previous hacker hoax on putting a beauty blender into the microwave with soap. Because there is an addition here. Now, I am so bummed. One of you had sent me a screenshot of this hacker hoax idea in that it was the same as the last one I did where you put soap and water into a cup or a bowl or something and then you put it in the microwave with your beauty blender in it, put it, I think it's for a minute, and then it's supposed to magically clean your sponge. Well, it didn't quite work for me. At least no better than how I normally clean my sponges. And a lot of people said that that is actually more for disinfecting sponges, not necessarily cleaning them. And then the screenshot that was sent to me was something along the lines of, if you actually want to clean your sponge, you do the same thing, except you add an equal amount of oil into the mix with the soap. That, I could see that working, and I'm bummed that I don't have the screenshot anymore because I've tried looking it up online, well, basically, blah, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. My phone died on me, and I wasn't able to recover all of my photos, so I had saved it in my phone, and then I, I don't have it anymore, and I can't find it anywhere online. I have looked for probably the past, like, half an hour, and I have no idea where it came from, so I apologize, but thank you, whoever it was, who alerted me. I'm, I'm very grateful for you, and I'm very excited to test this out. I mean, like I said, it sounds simple and easy enough. It's gonna be exactly the same as how I did it last time. I have got some ultra, ultra dirty sponges here. I don't know if you can tell, but that foundation is caked on. Yeah. So, I've got some cleaning that needs to happen with these sponges, and so I am excited to test out another hacker hoax with you guys. Sounds easy, sounds like it makes sense, and I'm excited to do this. So, let's head on to my kitchen, shall we? All right, folks, I thought I had more olive oil than this, but I, this should be enough. Also, apparently, Filippo Berillo had no idea that not only is this good for frying and baking, but it's also good for cleaning. So, got my soap, I've got my Dawn Gentle Ultra Clean Blah 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 Blah. And I'm going to put in equal parts soup, soap, soap, and olive oil. Oh, oh good, I'm glad I'm wasting the little bit of olive oil I have. Excellent! Right in there, and that's all she wrote, folks. That is all the olive oil that I have to my name. <laughs> okay, hopefully that was a, a good mix. Now let's get the water nice and hot. All right, I guess it's already there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wet my sponges a bit. And then I heard you're kind of supposed to like, ugh. I should have not done it in such a deep jar. But you know, you're kind of supposed to get it all up on your sponge. So there we go, get that all in there. Okay, I see, sometimes the choices you make. <laughs> Why did I choose these cups? Likely because they're the only cups I have, so. <laughs> Whatever. Now this one's gonna be tricky. <laughs> um, let's see. I mean, theoretically, this really, it does. It it makes sense, you know? I mean, soap cleans things. Olive oil, oh, did I just, I think I just lost it. Okay, well, you'll be the experiment where we don't really froth it up too much. But like, a lot of people use oil makeup removers, right? So this makes sense. Oh yeah, look at those bathing beauties. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead, make sure that is submerged in there, and then transfer this to the microwave for one minute. Let's see. Okay, so from past experience, this is gonna be hot. Yeah. Okay, not too bad. Uh, the water part's pretty bad. <laughs> but there we go. Now I think you can see in these two, these are already looking like they're getting 
getting the stuff out. So I have more promise for the ones that I pre-squeezed. Do it again. Woot. Let's see, that's looking really pink. <laughs> did I just kill my sponge? Can we see a difference in color? Yes, what the heck did I do? Oh no. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's see if this one comes out orange. Bloop. Woot again. Okay, is that just my eyes playing tricks on me or does that look slightly orange? Oh, oh, hot. Oh, hot. So there they are, three little mason jars with some hopefully, I, I that is so pink. <laughs> I'm worried. Okay, so dump this out and try not to burn myself because these are these are hot from experience. Very hot, full of hot boiling. Well, I mean, it's not boiling, but very hot water. Don't squeeze it yet. I know it's tempting, but don't do it. Okay, pink liquid. Whew. Let those cool down. And you too, be free. Ow, ow, hot towel, help me. I just want to squeeze the crap out of these things so bad, Rah. but they're so hot, <laughs> so, so hot. Okay, well, all right, it's been like five minutes. Are you touchable? Yeah, nice, okay. Let's see, you guys. Ooh, ooh, still a little hot in there, but overall not too bad. Mm -hmm. God, look at the pink water! <laughs> All right. So I mean, they're not as dirty as they used to be, but you can still see there's still quite a bit. I had put that cut in there, don't mind that, but like, there's still quite a bit of foundation that you can see still smushed in there. So just to prove a point, I'm gonna use this big bar of Zot, Zoti soap. Just do a little bit of, do a little bit of this here. Ta-da, that took all of what, 10 seconds? <laughs> Guess who's clean, 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 clean again, then, and so that uh that last part was easy. <laughs> I feel like such a failure. <laughs> I mean I don't. I've got clean sponges, but the verdict, at least for me, it's all just I mean, you do whatever you want. But as you saw, I mean just a good old bar of soap, that specific one that I mentioned. Scrub-a-dub-dub -dub gets it right off. Any foundation, tough stains, whatever you're dealing with, it's as easy as that. And that stuff is apparently dirt cheap too. One of you lovely subscribers had sent that bar to me a long time ago and it's still going strong. You just need a little bit and it does a great job at cleaning your sponges and brushes. So yes, this hacker hoax with the addition of olive oil, it was a good idea. It's just, it's not for me. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you tried this hack slash hoax before? Does it work for you? Do you just prefer using bar soap or whatever like I do? Let me know. I just love hearing everyone's methods for doing these, these chores that we all hate doing. And also, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video in seeing whether or not you should waste your olive oil, your last bits. I was going to the grocery store anyways today. So if you did enjoy this video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be, please do go ahead, give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! Baggy pants and no sneakers. That was wild. I
I didn't know what to think about that.